Who's this friend? That's Douglas. Oh, hi, buddy. He was there when we were getting our tats. He was, but he's never been on the show before. He just, I didn't know he's here. Yeah, Lucy's at the vet. But I love he's it. Just you know. Okay, so speaking of hanging out on the couch, I was at your house recently. Yes. And we were talking about this book. Yeah. That you did, that you made, mm -hmm. that you wrote. Yeah. What? What did it take to give you the confidence to write this? And why did you even question your confidence? You're Savannah Guthrie. Well, it's a book about faith, you know, and I, I definitely never thought I'd be writing a book that was so personal. It's like taking my heart and putting it out there, and that's completely terrifying. But when given the opportunity, I couldn't say no because as all my friends know and my family, my faith is my cornerstone, it's so important to me. And I felt like I had something good to say about God. I mean, the book is called Mostly What God Does. And the rest of the sentence is mostly what God does is love you. And I, I'm hoping that it's really inspiring and talks, you know, from a point of view of just a, I'm not just a regular person who has had ups and downs and seasons of faith and seasons of not faith and have, have I've walked through all of those things. And these are just a few things I've learned along the way. It's super personal and vulnerable. So it's scary. You know, it's one thing to like read the news, you know, and be talking about other people. It's another thing to say, like, you know, I, I have entries from my journal in this from when I was a little younger and it's all in there. But I, I'm the only reason is not to spill the beans or something, but to explain what faith looks like in a real life and why I found it to be so hopeful. Because the book is called Mostly What God Does Is Love You. And what faith is, for me, when I talk about seasons of doubt, it's not, I mean, for me, I've never really questioned, is there a God? That's not my particular struggle. The question that I have struggled with when I've had my own setbacks or disappointments or I look around the world and see injustice and why, why do good people suffer? Why would a good God allow that? You know, believing that God is good and loves you and is well-intentioned towards you and has a plan and won't let this be the final answer to how, um, to this earth, that there, is a, that, that there is a better time coming. I mean, that is what faith is and it requires a leap of faith. But a thing I figured out a long time ago, you know, I think anybody of faith has probably at some point asked themselves, like, what if it's all made up? What if it's not true? What if this is just something I was taught as a kid that I became emotionally attached to? Well, there's no way we can know for sure. I mean, this is why it's faith, you know? We're not gonna get to know for certain. We're not gonna get scientific proof, not in this life. But what I realized is I would rather spend my life hopeful and believing and be wrong in the end than spend my life hopeless and cynical and be right in the end. Being hopeful and full of faith is just a better way to live. And I do believe that once you step out and you take that step, I, I do think it starts to make sense. But my big message of the book is come as you are. Come with your doubt. God is not asking for stoic, perfect people and some pious presentation that's phony. I think, the, the, you know, I, I think we're asked to bring our doubts, bring our despair, bring our whole selves, but just come. Hearing you speak about it, I'm just, it's so eloquent. It's oh. so connective. It's so instilling. The concept is, you also did something which I, I found really interesting and I wanted to ask you why. Oh, because I didn't want to be on the cover. <laughs> did you want this to be yeah. more universal and have you be the person who is sending out the invitation but then making it about the person. Yeah, I love that you noticed that. That is so you. You know me so well. I did not want to be on the cover of the book. I was like, this isn't a book about me. It's a book about God. That's I didn't want some cheesy picture and be like, uh, you know. And um, this is like, you know, when you sell a book, a lot of the retailers are like, they, people might not know your name, but they might recognize your face. You got to put your picture on it. So they came up with this, I think, really beautiful compromise. And it doubles as a bookmark. Okay, so it's value. <laughs> And on the other side, it says mostly what God does is love you. Um, well, I am so honored to say that Savannah's book, Mostly What God Does, is available now, but everyone in our audience is going to go home with a copy. Yeah.